Brought to you by Bryant and Stratton College. It's rare to find a true conference championship game in the world of high school basketball, but tonight we are very close here in Brookfield. If Brookfield Academy pulls off the win tonight, they stay undefeated in the Midwest Classic and take the conference title. If Mesmer wins, they have a great chance to share that title with the Blue Knights. The Bishops lost at home to B.A. back in December. Payback was on their minds and it showed early. Dallas Polk Hillier drains this baseline J and it's 10-zip Mesmer. But the Blue Knights respond with an 11-point run. Nate Stolte nails this three ball. Brookfield Academy by one after one. But from that point, the Bishop simply took over. First, it's Deontay Newsom with a nice spin move. Then Avery Smith with a pinpoint lob to Polk Hilliard for the slam. Finally, it's Jonathan Carson capping the quarter with this three-point bomb. The Bishops are pumped up by seven at half. More Carson in the third. He will not be denied on this drive. Bishops lead by 11 after three. The Blue Knights pull within five late, but Polk Hilliard caps his game-high 24-point night with this turnaround J. Mesmer gets revenge and a first place tie with a 62 to 50 win. It hurt it bad when they beat us at home, so we came out with a chip on our shoulder. We were just aggressive right away. We bounced back from a loss earlier this week. I just think this one is really going to get us over the hump and get us ready for the playoffs coming up. It's a matchup of two small schools that have talented squads. Young Cogs Prep and Milwaukee Academy of Science each have the potential to go a long way in Division 5 when the tournament rolls around. It's the second meeting of these two independent schools this season, and there could potentially be a third in the regional finals. Early action, Sean Stewart inbounds the ball, then gets it right back and connects for three. Stewart hit five trifectas on the night. Young Cogs Prep features the dynamic Taiwan Jones. How about the move to get to the bucket, then the body control? Jones scored 26. The Eagles also get some sweet moves from Isaac Gillum, who races to the rack and finishes with style. Young Cogs trying to keep this game one that could go in either direction, but MAS has other ideas. In transition, Sean Stewart hits Jafanye Light, who throws it down. Light stands 6'4", he's the team's only senior. MAS leads by 10 at the break, and the Novas really turn it up to open the third. Nobody stops Ramson Jones Jr. on his way to the hoop. Jones was one of five double-digit scorers for MAS. Then in transition, Theo Montgomery flips the ball to Jafanye Light with authority. Timeout Eagles, Milwaukee Academy of Science pours in 37 points in the third. For an encore, Light will go coast to coast. Nobody wants to get in his path. Light finishes with 26. The Novas win at 91-62, their 17th victory against just two defeats. I want to give credit to my coach. At halftime, he took us in the back, and he talked to us about, you know, coming out strong in the second half and doing what we're supposed to do. And that's what we did. We fought hard. I feel like we come a long way. I feel like we're playing really good right now, especially now going into the playoffs. 